All right, guys, we're starting our first ever search for the tardigrade. I'm an amateur at this. This scope, the AM scope, uh, is digital, so it goes to the computer screen. So I'm taking my very first slide I've ever had, and we're going to break this compound down. Look at this. This is a nice piece to start with. We can put that on the slide and get this under the microscope, see if we can find a tardigrade. So there we go. I set it here. Now, uh... It doesn't look great on there, so we got to focus this, figure out how this works. Oh boy. That's as far down as I can go, huh? It might be too big of a uh, sample, is what I'm thinking. Or maybe we need to zoom out quite a bit. Try a different slide here. Okay, what I'm thinking is we need a smaller sample. So breaking a very small piece off, we're going to just try zooming in on this. See what this looks like under the microscope. This should be exciting, guys. Okay, we're getting our first views now uh, using our lowest powered lens. Um, as we go up to the higher lenses, it's harder to focus. See, for example, I'll put a higher power lens on it. And all of a sudden, it looks crazy. Um, that doesn't look too bad. We might be able to focus on that. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm scraping a little bit of moss off of this uh, tree bark and sprinkling it onto the slide so that we can examine it at a high rate of uh, zoom. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a few details of the AM scope. So right now I got it zoomed in super close on the computer screen here. And you can record with this program, of course, right on your computer. That's included with the AM scope. Uh, but down here, this adjusts the light. So if I do this, it's going to adjust this light. See, when I do that, of course, it affects... The view on screen, there's tons of light. We can put a little less light. You can manually adjust it, which is really nice. Uh, also, they let you do all these options in here to adjust the image. So that's where the light is. Um, so this, there's two things here. One here, one here. So the bottom one, I don't want to lose that spot, but the bottom one slides it. Here, look, I'll show you when I'm playing with that bottom one, slides it left and right. Now, where'd that tardy gray go? I swear he was right here. There he is. Okay. Great. And then this one, this one slides it up and down. So, as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. So, that gives you a few ideas of how that works. And I'm zoomed in so much that. You could play with this all day, and you'd just see so many different things on this one little slide that I got in there that I created using moss from some bark. So that's a couple things you can do on the AM scope, and I'm going to do more tips and hints as we move along. We are looking for a live tardigrade, one of these guys. So how exciting is that? And then, of course, right here you can go... Up and down, you see how this is moving the platform. It goes way up, way down. You slowly do it here because just the slightest movements affect what you're seeing a lot. So that's that. Um, up here's where I popped in the camera eyepiece. All I did was slide it in there. This right here rotates, and watch when I rotate this, what happens on screen. First, let me focus a little better. Okay, so when I rotate this eyepiece right here, watch. I'm not only thing I'm doing is playing with this dial right here. Watch what happens on screen. It will rotate the way you're viewing it on screen. You can do a full 360, and that comes into play nice, especially when you go back to these and you want to adjust what you're looking at, sliding it around, you know. So it's pretty cool.